Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you a delicious recipe of chocolate bread shaped like a croissant or croissant. So let's get started. Take half cup warm water in a bowl. The water should be warm, not hot. Next, add 2 teaspoon sugar and mix till the sugar gets dissolved in water. It's very important to mix the sugar really well. Once the sugar gets dissolved, add yeast. I'm using dry yeast. Here it's 2 teaspoon. Gently mix for 5 to 7 seconds. Cover and set aside for 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, the yeast should get activated or bloom like this. If this doesn't happen, then probably your yeast has expired or the water was too hot. So don't go ahead with that in the recipe. In a bowl, take 2 cups all-purpose flour. To that, add the yeast mixture and salt as per taste. Next, add water and make a soft dough. Do not skip adding salt in the dough because the chocolate bread won't taste good if the bread is bland without salt. Now continue kneading the dough for 10 to 12 minutes. Initially the dough would be sticky but as you go on stretching and pulling it, it would come together. When you're almost done, add 2 tablespoon butter. I'm using salted butter and continue kneading. The dough has come together, still it's a bit sticky and that's fine. Now transfer the dough to a bowl and cover and set aside till it doubles in size. It would take 1-2 to two hours depending on the weather in your region. Once the dough doubles or triples in size like this, deflate it and again knead for a minute. If it's a bit sticky, you can use some flour or oil. Now roll the dough like this. Try to make a rectangular sheet. The sheet should not be very thin. This is the thickness that we need. And then cut in triangles using a pizza cutter or a knife. Now make a small cut. Place a piece of chocolate. I am using 45% dark chocolate here. It's from Mode brand. And roll like this. This one's done and looks cute. So similarly you need to make the rest of the bread. Instead of chocolate, you can place a big piece of cheese in the middle. Once you are done rolling all the bread, you need to let it sit for some time like 10 minutes or so for double proving. Cover the breads using a lightweight cotton cloth and set aside for 10 minutes. Now apply some milk. The milk would help get brown color on top. Preheat your oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and then bake these for 12 to 13 minutes. Keep the fan and both the rods on. The oven model that I am using does not have a fan, but a fan would help you get even color. Take the bread out of the oven and apply some oil or butter and let the bread sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Keep them covered with a cloth and after that the bread would become nice and soft. Place the bread rolls on a wire rack to prevent the bottom of the rolls from getting soggy.
You can serve this bread with a cup of tea or coffee or have it just like that. Look at the delicious melted chocolate lava inside. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!